Mark Kessler is a police chief in um, Gilberton, and uh, this is a small town in Pennsylvania. In fact, he's the only guy who's on the police force, uh, probably why he's the chief. Uh, he's a, a clownish character. We've shown you some of his videos before. He's being called America's scariest cop. Uh, he uh, shoots at figures that he calls Nancy Pelosi. He goes out and says, oh yeah, all you libtards who are uh, criticizing me, uh, he, come and get my guns. He, in fact, he said that about our Secretary of State, John Kerry, and then he turns around and then shoots an AK-47, and then he's like, ah, they're so un-American, as he's shooting, of course, a Russian-made weapon. <laughs> okay, uh, but, you know, and this guy is a legendary clown because it turns out, and one of our uh, viewers picked this up, in an old story, a couple of years ago, actually Mark Kessler did shoot someone himself. <laughs> uh, he accidentally shot himself uh, in the hand when he was in an altercation at a bar. Yeah. And, uh, and then he had to take some time off because, he, the, according to the article, he was in a lot of pain. Yeah. Okay, so, we, so this, all this is awesome. But he has not been uh, fired, even though you know, he says, among things, like when they ask him, hey, are you willing to protect Democrats in town as much as you're willing to protect Republicans. He says, well, sure, sure, I'll protect the libtards. But you know, if our founding fathers were around, they would have shot the liberals a long time ago. Doesn't give you a lot of confidence that he actually means that he would protect the liberals in town. But don't worry, guys, he's actually been suspended for 30 days without pay. So it's, oh. it's the beginning, okay. So the reason is they said he used borough property for non-borough purposes without prior borough permission, <laughs> which is, by the way, uh, the most use of the word borough in a sentence <laughs> in American history. Uh, and that's because the AK-47s and all the different guns that he shot and weapons that he shot were apparently the boroughs and he wasn't allowed to take them and make private videos that he could profit off of, etc. He of course says that it's, this is all outrageous, that he's allowed to shoot whatever gun he wants as the police chief. Um, and then when asked, hey, okay, look, you." Now you're going 30 days without pay and all this stuff, and you obviously broke a, a rule here. He says, no, I didn't break any rules. And quote, I make no apologies, I have no regrets. Because this guy's super, super tough. Uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, he uh, then talks about the guys that, who did this to him in his own mind. That's Mayor Mary Lou Hannon, which he should get on his hands and knees and thank her every day for not firing him already any which she, sh she sh still should yeah any rational mayor would have fired this guy a long time ago uh, but she hasn't yet and then two council members Eric Boxer and Daniel Malloy that he believes are in some sort of secret uh, campaign against them and he says hey Boxer Malloy Hannon you're cowards you're hacks you pretend to uphold the Constitution you sicken me like he's like a kid he's like a 13 year old yeah. kid online with all the you know the cap lock. Yeah. I know, dude, I got it. You're screaming. You're constantly screaming. I think I've played against that guy in Call of Duty. Yeah. No, but like seriously, all yeah, jokes aside. Yeah, so did I. He shot himself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the, the FBI should investigate him. Those council members should be worried. The mayor should be worried because this guy is a freaking psychopath. He should not only be uh, fired, he should be seriously investigated. And I love, he's such a perfect test case for a couple of things. One, how much you can do and say as a conservative without losing your job. <laughs> when you consider that if he was a Democrat and he's like, uh, I have philosophical differences with Republicans, fired. Like it would have been done. <laughs> and also, I mean, the fact that one, he shot himself, two, that it's all about personal property and owning firearms and then borrowing them from the government to fire. Uh, Buy your own damn guns. Uh, that's awesome. And also, he's talking, he was talking previously about how he's a patriot. His father fought in the war. That's wonderful. John Kerry, who you're criticizing, was actually in Vietnam. What the fuck were you doing? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, he might be a, too young for Vietnam, but he didn't sign up, it appears, uh, yeah. for anything else. We're still and so when he has to go to his dad, like, oh, my dad was a patriot. Uh, and, and, and John Kerry, who I say is a coward, I mean, yeah. uh, he took enemy fire. But anyway, <laughs> I don't like him. And he literally called Kerry, of course, a cocksucker before pretending to fire at him and all that stuff. He's a class act. Well, yeah. libtards uh, is hilarious. See, what they do is they take the word liberal and, <laughs> and the word retarded, and then they yeah. push them together like that. It's libtard. And, uh, it's liberal, rather brilliant. Yeah, yeah, liberals could never come up with a joke like that. Yeah, We're working oh, no. on it. No. Yeah. 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 Uh, also, by the way, through the use of the word libtard, I think we have actually identified the last person who still listens to Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> <laughs> He's still got one. <laughs>